There are a lot of words being used to describe 2020, many of which are not appropriate for TV. But as Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us, what felt like the worst year ever has made us all stronger. Boy, has it been a year. From the emotional pain of racial tension to the physical pain of COVID-19. I pray to God you don't get as sick as we got if you get it. And then the logistical pain of homeschooling. So my 10-year-old who just turned 10, he's like, this has been the worst year of my life. It's a sentiment many have shared amidst an unprecedented year of suffering with health and wealth. My husband and I went five months without any income, so I, I, and we had uh, loved ones get, get ill, so we really do understand. Twin Cities life coach Yanza Berza has felt the same pain as her clients. A lot of difficulty has really taught me that we all experience it, and it's it's a resilience is a muscle that they're just kind of. We have to go through difficult times to become stronger. She says 2020 refined us with reflection and growth. We're slowing down as, as, a, as human beings, and we're really focusing on more time in nature, trying to eat more at home, to learning how to cook, learning how to dance. And learning how to be together from homeschool to work from home to Zoom parties. Family time has multiplied and priorities rearranged. We'll focus on health family, simplicity, the things that really matter in the in the big scheme of things. She says the year has taken so much away, yet given us perspective. I just pray that all of us will have taken a chance to look within, to forgive, to love one another, and let go of anything that no longer serves us. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. 2020 was also a time when many focused on mental health with therapy, meditation and rest, all good habits to bring into 2021.